violence is self-defeating. He who lives by the sword will perish by the sword. You know, when you construct a man as a great man, there's nothing almost more satisfying than also seeing him as the opposite. When the National Archive puts government documents up on the web, one has to confront them. Tapes from the hotel rooms, FBI reports, those are pieces of information that we shouldn't have. The FBI was most alarmed about King because of his success. He realized how sick this country was. We were trying to reveal the truth about segregation. J. Edgar Hoover is famous for saying that he feared the rise of a black messiah. The FBI says it's clear Martin Luther King Jr. is the most dangerous Negro in America, and we have to use every resource at our disposal to destroy him. J. Edgar Hoover was the head of the FBI for 48 years. The FBI's focus was collecting salacious sexual material of King with various girlfriends. Hoover had made the speech that Martin Luther King was the world's most notorious liar. Now, what am I going to do about Martin Luther King? It looks to me like he's too far north. This was a way that they could bring down a very influential black civil rights leader and contain the movement. The FBI mailed the tape of Dr. King with other women to him and to Coretta with an advice that he should go kill himself. The greatness of America is the right to protest far right. Staying calm under fire is very hard when people are trying to kill you. Anybody who was to the left of mainstream in civil rights was deemed a subversive. They use surveillance in order to foment violence and break apart these organizations. They were running a surveillance state. This represents the darkest part of the Bureau's history.